Hello everybody! In this video you will learn how to draw Jack Lantern step by step. Jack Lantern is a character from the very popular game Stumble Guys. I love this game very much. So let's do it! Before you start sketching I would like to share a new drawing trick with you. It's nothing special but as you'll see it's very useful. Before you start sketching draw a center vertical line. This center line will help you position the drawing correctly. It will also help you to keep the right and left parts of the drawing proportional, which is very important for drawings like ours. If the left side is not approximately the same as the right, it is very noticeable and the drawing looks bad. I also drew a horizontal line, on about a little more than the first third of the paper. This line marks the contact between the head and the body. In this way we know exactly from where to where the head will extend and where we will start drawing the body. Like a vertical line, a horizontal line also helps us with proportionality. It makes it easier to determine the size of the head and body. Always remember! Don't worry about mistakes when sketching! Mistakes sometimes turn out better than we think! If you are not satisfied, you can still use the eraser and start over! Take your time for sketching, there is no need to rush! Wow! I really tried my best this time and I'm very happy with my sketch! Let's continue with the second step! Drawing with a black marker! This time I decided to use the thinnest marker I have. Oh gosh! I already made a mistake! No problem, I'll fix it up a bit! Maybe it wasn't the best idea to use a thin marker. I suspect a brush marker would be a better choice. Yes it's true! A brush marker would be a better choice! Nothing serious! I will continue with this and at the very end I will redraw everything with a brush marker! Let's concentrate on drawing! Meanwhile we can listen some nice music and try to draw best as we can!
Good job everybody! We are done with the second step and now we can proceed to the third step. I advise you to think carefully about which colors you will use before you start painting. Some colors go well together, some don't. I try them first on another sheet and see how they go together. You can use similar colors as I did or choose to use completely different ones. That's up to you. It's important to enjoy while you draw and paint. Be creative! This time I decided to try shading the drawing. For a more three-dimensional look. This is my first time doing this, so I'm very interested in how it will turn out. In theory, the color goes from light to dark. First, we paint with a lighter shade. Then we paint with a darker one. Finally, we blend the two colors by painting with a lighter color in the place where lighter and darker color touch each other. Let's try and see how it goes.